listening or watching the show, and we always we pray that it be a blessing to you. We are glad to be coming to your house on the first month of Yahweh's year. Praise Yahweh, yes, right, it's Yah's year. Yah's year. Yahweh's year. Yeah. The month he built. We thank Yahweh for bringing us through it one and to another year. Praise God for Yahweh. Praise God. Thank you. Thank you. We're in the lesson of our word focus. We're focusing on the word of Hebrew word Anah, which carries multiple definitions and the English language and I suppose must be in the Hebrew language as well. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So we left off last week on it focusing on M I in Exodus chapter one. <coughs> and we had went to other scriptures dealing with the several other words that also render humble as well as afflict. Mm -hmm. So we're basically focusing on the word Anah. Anah. So Exodus chapter 1 and verse uh, 12. 11 and 12. Therefore, they did set over them taskmasters to afflict them mm -hmm. with their burdens. And they built for Pharaoh treasure cities, Pithom and Ramesses. So they set over them taskmasters. Mm -hmm. what, do you, what do the taskmasters do? He put abundance on them. That's, mm -hmm. that's right, that's right. right. That's right. Uh -huh. so he make it hard for you. Yes. Make it hard for you. Yeah, yeah. 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 So he afflicted them in one place when he did something, he afflicted them even more by making them make bricks without straw. Uh huh. That's called affliction. <laughs> yeah. Hard yeah. affliction, okay? Yeah. So, but the focus of why we're using this word Anah because someone will read this and they say, oh, Anah only means humble. If you're supposed to humble yourself. Oh, uh, no, it don't. Teach it tell like it is. No, it don't. Yahweh has put it in my spirit to Praise it God, Yahweh. look it up, which I already knew the word. Anyway, but someone wanted to define it as only meaning, that's all Yahweh means for you to do, afflict yourself, or being humble yourself. No, so no, that's yourself. not true at all. So it's afflict yourself not true. also, why the word was meaning, when we use the word afflict, mean to fast. Uh-huh. One stain from the food, no matter how you, how you afflict your body other than that. You hit yourself with something with a hammer or something, you afflict yourself, right? Yeah, yeah, cause some hurt. You cut right? yourself, yeah. you afflict yourself, some right? Discomfort, yeah. Pour some hot water on you, so you <laughs> afflict yourself, yeah. right? Very so when he always say afflict your body, he mean afflict. He That's say right. Humble. When he say humble, he mean humble. That's right. Praise God. Yeah. 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 Right. Yeah. Right. But in some cases, you read the verse where it say humble, but it look like some affliction could. Uh -huh. Yeah, because good. Almost interchangeable in some instances. Yeah, right. yeah. Right. So we're reading this, and so Anah, we said it on the last show that Anah was used 84 times in scripture. Mm -hmm. But 50 times as a flick. Okay. Okay. And I think it was 11 times as humble. Mm -hmm. And other times it was used as different other things as abuse or. Mm. Yeah, yeah, that's right. Got many meanings. Right. Or force. Mm. Or gentleness. Well, I don't think we read that last week. Mm. Uh, what it means. So either I think we use what we saw what it meant exercise too, right? Yeah, yeah, that's right. Don't get stuck on one meaning. So that's why I said, so we're focusing on enough. Uh-huh. Uh -huh. At 60, what, 61? 60, 60, 61. 60, 60, 31. Okay? So we're using that. So the main focus, now we're going to be mostly focusing on afflict. Okay. And that, uh, but we're going to use that where we didn't read last week, and also where it means, uh, I'm not how the word S I N G. That don't sound like a one definite, only need low, right? 
That's right. Me all the humble. So that's another definition. Uh huh. Praise of Yahweh. That's right. So you don't want to be stuck on one meaning. On, on, on a word, then you have to get all the meaning. That's right. You got to go deep. Yeah. You you deep just with come it. up with a shallow definition. Right. Okay, you go deep. The word are not only mean, it don't mean to flick, it means to get, get deep, you gotta get deep. Even though when you see the definition of flick there, then you still want to use it. And even if you see that it's used a hundred, I mean, 84 times, and 50 times as a flick, uh -huh. 11 times as a humble. Right. So you see a humble in the Bible in a lot of places, but that's not the same word. You mean you get it right? That's you right, that's right. right. Yeah. It didn't come from I'm not. Because we named a lot of words last week on the, on the first we show, right? Sure. Yeah. Showing that yeah. these are words also the word humble come from. Okay. okay. So okay. in this lesson, the person was reading and every scripture they went to, they said humble, but it didn't mean humble. Either. That's right. Teach it, well, tell it like it is. Right. Right. Get, tell yeah. it like yeah. it is. Tell yeah. the truth. So when they say afflict at that scripture, then that scripture means afflict. Yes, it does. Mm -hmm. Not humble. Yep. Praise our Yahweh. Praise so our Exodus. It was a flick. So we will stay in Exodus simple there and use one of them, the same word, Anah, where it do mean humble. Okay. Exodus, Exodus 10 and, and uh, 3. Exodus 10 and 3. Okay. So now it's saying humble. So what else are you going to do? You're going to use what it say, huh? When right. it say a flick, you're going to use a flick. Yes. Right. Okay. You're going to understand a flick means some burden, some discomfort to you or somebody. All right. Ten and right. says, And Moshe and Aaron came in unto Pharaoh and said unto him, Thus saith Yahweh Elohim of the Hebrews, how long would thou refuse to humble thyself before yeah, me? Humble. Okay, okay. Let my people go, uh -huh. that they may serve me. That's right. He didn't say, he said, how long will you refuse to humble yourself? Yeah, so that's I, right. I can't assert the other definition, how long will you afflict yourself? No, it won't work. It won't work in this It do not make it, it don't come out no. like it's supposed to be. No, it, it, it won't work in this have to use it in the term to make the verse make sense. Right, right. Praise so God. You can understand it, right? Right, right. Yeah, yeah. He's saying, how long? How long will thou you refuse to, to humble yourself? Huh? Well, the question could be asked to us, how long? Huh? Yeah, yeah, we refuse to humble ourselves. Yeah, yeah. praise God for Yahweh. How long will people refuse? Voluntarily humble ourselves. Right, yeah. right. Yeah. We see where our people was afflicted. Then they yeah, humble yeah, yeah, that yeah. affliction yeah. caused you to humble with you. Yeah, I can. So there's time when y'all will affliction you so you will humble. Yeah, yeah. Right. Yes. Right. Give you that beat down. Yeah. That's right. But yeah. when he didn't afflict you, but here when, when we are, uh, when he said for the fast, the feast, of atonement, he gives us the opportunity. That's right, it's voluntary, right? It's humble. Said, Afflict your bodies. Yep. Meaning, humble your body. You That's right. Humble your body, but That's right. humble yourself and afflict your body by withstanding from food and water. That's right, right. 24 hours. That's right. If you don't brush your teeth, you have stinky breath, so you ain't supposed to be kissing nobody <laughs> yeah. anyway, right? Yeah. So that's what you think that this person you are, or you think you. Cause you fasted, then therefore you were doing what Yahweh said. What well, he did come yeah, to me. Yeah, we are. Yeah, we are. Praise him. Yes, he did. As we also read last yeah. week, and first people, when people don't do that, which we're gonna read again. Okay. We have to be careful of these people. Yahweh yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. yeah. Okay. Second keeper. I'm sorry. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Second keeper. Second chapter, verse one. So, so we have to investigate people that stand up here like me. That's right. When they say these things, then we have to see if they're changing. You know, Yahweh had his Nabi to Nava, meaning prophesy things to us. Then I come along and change it. Then Yahweh says through his Apostle Shaul, Yahweh said, not, I mean not Shaul, but Kifu. Yahweh said it through Kifu. This is not Kifu's words that we read. This is Yahweh's word. And he put in Kifu's mouth to write to us, to give us a warning, right? Yeah, yeah. That's right. Tell it. Second Kifu, 
chapter 2 and verse 1 and 2. <coughs> Excuse me. Praise God. Yeah. But there were false prophets also among the people. Mm -hmm. Even as there shall be false teachers among you, mm -hmm. who privately shall bring in damnable heresies, even denying Yahweh that bought them, and bring upon themselves swift destruction. And many shall follow their pernicious ways, by reason of whom the way of truth shall be evil spoken of. So he's telling you something going to happen if people are going to cause you to go astray. They're going to cause you to be cut off. So, therefore, we need uh, to follow what the script says, right? right. Yeah, so, yeah. Right. Because the script is right. It's not no private right. interpretation of people. No, of no That's man, right. no Adam, no. Right. It's thus says Yahweh. It thus said Yahweh. Right. That's it. The only used, way. He just used people to put it to on the paper. That's right. Praise our Yahweh. Right. Right. Or uh, to speak it to the people. That's the right. That's it. Speak, right. speak to the Ham. Speak to the Ham. That's it, Yahweh. Potentious ways are damnable, destructive ways. Yeah, they are. Yeah, yeah they you are. listen to them. We don't want to get caught up no. in this. Not so not Yahweh no said no. we read it. They should sell it for us, right? Yeah, right. yeah. Right. If we believe that we receive the word of Yahweh, yes, we are. We believe that the Bible yes, we is the word of Yahweh. We believe we read the bars of Yahweh. I cannot change. What Teach it tell like it is. No, they have I not. I can change it, but don't you let me change it. That's right. <laughs> yeah, that's right. You know that it's wrong, <laughs> right? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. But also, he said in Yom Yah chapter twenty, uh, where, 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 twenty-three. No, that's okay. If these are false prophets came and they did what they need to do to turn people away from their pretentious ways or from their hata, then it would be good. But they're not doing it. They are trying to turn you away from what you have learned. That's right. Which right. is not good. Which is not good is for your salvation. Yeah. Trying to take it away from you. Steal your salvation. Yeah, they're trying yeah. to take your cat from you. Turn the cat. 321 of Yummy said. I have not sent these prophets, yet they ran. I have not spoken to them, yet they prophesied. Yeah, yeah I didn't send them. So when you don't read the word of Yahweh, somebody else read the word of Yahweh to you, and then they change it. That means yeah. Yahweh didn't say it. That's the best and the only way that you can uh, receive that. Next verse says, But if they had stood in my counsel and had caused my people to hear my words, then they should have turned them from their evil way and from the evil of their doing. So, if they had stood in my Asa and have called my people or my am to tomorrow, my daughter, then they should have what? Turned them from their evil ways or potential ways or their destructive ways or their damnable ways and from the evil of their doings or their deeds. So, what? Where someone has already turned some people away from their from their evil way that they were doing and turned them to the way of the truth, here's somebody coming along trying to turn you back to your potential ways. Yeah, yeah, there's yeah. already somebody you, trying. Now you don't have to do that. That ain't what that, that ain't what that means. Uh huh? So, so they say telling me that I don't have to do that. Uh huh? So otherwise I can go back to yeah. doing what I was doing. Right. So. So they say that's a false prophet. That's a lie. I don't believe it. There's no other way you can say that other than that's false teaching. Right. So if it's false teaching, that means it's a false prophet. Right. It's false nabi. Okay. That's just how it is. So in back to Exodus chapter 22. And 22, where we use this word anah, which is rendered But it's the same word. 
That's the first song. I said we're going to primary focus on trick, but in between, I'm going to. Yahweh gonna throw in. That's right, Brady. Yahweh, Mighty Yah. I'll have to do Yah. That's right. Go with the go with Yahweh. Hallelujah. Twenty-two and twenty-two says, "Ye shall not afflict any widow or fatherless child." You should not what? Afflict. afflict. Or. In some cases, when they say you shouldn't humble, so in that case, the word humble, I say, this is Brother Micaiah said, it should be a flick. When you humble, when, uh, what was it? Abner, he humbled his sister. In other words, he violated her. So in some cases, humble is like by force. So we, we read the word, but humble means, and uh, Adah means. Force, right? Mm -hmm. So by force you humble somebody. Mm -hmm. You can by force. Humble yes, you somebody. can. You afflict them to, to, to be humble. Yeah, that's what. Right. You can afflict them to be humble. Yeah, right? for, uh, for affliction. You, if we, I like to use the word from that picture from uh, what roots. Mm -hmm. The man afflicted. Kuti Kenti. Oh, yes, he did. Yeah, he afflicted him. Right. right? He afflicted him. That was affliction. You had to get right. humility, right. yeah. Affliction. Right. Yeah, probably you can get humility, right. yeah. Right. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Right. So this is what we're talking about. We focus on this word. So what I was saying, afflict. Mm -hmm. Since we're in Exodus, we have to read that. Read 32, 18. 32, 18. Yeah. 32 yeah. and 18. And you notice this same word, Anah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. In this verse, as another word, another definition, right? Uh huh. Yeah. 32 18 says, 18. And he said, It is not the voice of them that shout for mastery, neither is it the voice of them that cry for being overcome, but the noise of them that sing do I hear. So this word sing come from the word Anah. Okay. Great, Yahweh. So what I say when you you do a, a Hebrew word focus, then focus on the word. Focus on the definition that it renders. Not just the one that you want to apply. See so like get you a concordant yourself. And if the person give you the number or give you the word, then you go check it out for yourself. It took me four or five years to go get a concordance. This guy used to say it all the time, get a concordance, I'm proving to you. Even though he, I got the concordance, what he was saying was wrong. But he kept on, Yahweh through him, kept telling me to get the, him to say it so I'll get it. Now he done moved and gone on, he laying in the dust, waiting on the resurrection. But, one way or one of the other. Yeah, that's it. One or the other. That's right. it. Right. So one or the other. He can tell like he called me to get the concordance, and I, I could check it out. Yeah. Praise the mighty God. Yeah. That's why I'm leaving you to it. Yeah. 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 Was just the one that he wanted to amplify. Amplify. Right. Right. Yeah. Not the one that should apply to that particular scripture, right. but the one that he wanted to amplify yeah. and to make it be what he wanted to be. So that's where I say, we have to do a word focus sometime on uh -huh. all the time when we're not sure anyway. Right, right. Yeah, but when a person just come up and dogmatic say, hey, this is all there. This is it. There's no other way, no other meaning. This is it. No, it's not true. So I know we read last week, we read uh, uh, Leviticus 20, uh, 16 and 29 and Leviticus 23 and 29 and 32, right? Right. Okay, let's look at Numbers 29 and 7. Read all these scriptures we're going to, and the definition we're getting is coming from the word Anah. Uh huh. Anah, A N A H, or Shaw A N A. Okay, Anah. Okay. 6031 in your concordance, strong concordance of the Hebrew. Okay. So, that's it. Number 29 and 7. And ye shall have on the tenth day of this seventh month 
and holy convocation. And ye shall afflict your soul. Yeah, yeah. Ye shall not do any work there. That's anymore. right. Praise God. Yahweh. Yeah, right. And afflict your soul. That's right. And that word soul comes from the Hebrew word nephesh. Okay. So if you look up the word nephesh, you'll find out it don't just render the word, English word soul. Uh-huh. Right. That's right. It runs with person. Kai. Okay. Body. Eat it. Tell like it is. So they have to know. So this person, or the translator, basically focus on this is the word he wants you to get. So therefore, you stuck with soul. So uh -huh. you don't know what it's all. But he said, you should afflict your body. Yeah, that's right. Afflict your gibiyah. Yeah. That's right. Yeah. That's what we afflict. Yeah. And how do one afflict his gibiyah? There's many ways, but Yahweh's way is to abstain from that's food right. and water. That's right. Resist. Taking that food and water. Resist that. Yeah. Afflict and that. Is not, it's voluntary. Yahweh that's right. Voluntary. Teach it. That's he don't, right. He don't force us. He's not forcing us. He's telling us this is what we need to do. Uh huh. Praise so we Yahweh. We cut off from His word, right? Right, right. right. He does when we cut off, then we won't do it. <laughs> uh huh. So that's all up to you. That's right. You're not obedient. Let's look at verse 24. I believe. Verse 20. What is verse 20? 24. What did it really say? Verse 24 says, The meat offering and their drink offering for the bullocks, for the rams, and for the lambs shall be according to the number after the manner. It should be a cover. So they had to do this. This was some of the things they had to do under the Old Testament on the Day of Atonement. Uh huh. Or on other feast days. Right, right. Yeah. Teach it. They offer right. up certain gifts. Right, right. To Yahweh. Mm -hmm. For it to be accepted. Yeah. So therefore, we don't have to do that anymore. But we're talking about what we need to do. Right. We see it in, 20, in verse 7, it told us what we're supposed to do, right? Okay. Let's look at chapter 30 and verse 13. Chapter 30 and verse 13. Chapter 30 and verse 13 says, Every vow and every binding oath to afflict the soul, her husband may establish it, or her husband may make it void. So he can make it void or he should establish it. So if you made the woman that is ish shy and made a vow, then he not and void, then she wouldn't be bounded by it. Right. Okay, that's now right. Teach it. Yeah. But he's saying if she do it, how you going to do it, it's supposed to be a affliction, right? Yes. Don't say homo, right? <laughs> right, right. What did it say? The oh, it is what? A flip. Yeah. A flip. So just do what Yahweh said. Right. Every vow and every binding oath to afflict the nephew or the body or the give you her husband may what? Establish it or her husband may what? Make it, it void. void. Yeah. But this is the word Allah. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise Allah Yahweh. Praise Allah Yahweh. Okay, that well, Deuteronomy 8, 2, and 3, let's use the word home. Okay, but let's look at judge, whether it's from our word or not, okay? Okay. Judges chapter 20 and 5. 20 and 5. So that's good. That's a good book to read. When you read the book of uh, Judges, you see how Yahweh would raise up judges to them and he would deliver them out of their affliction. And as soon as that judge died, they would fall back into their pretentious ways or their evil ways or their destructive ways. Then they would go back into captivity. And Yahweh. And then they want somebody in there would cry out to Yahweh or humble themselves and cry out to Abba Yah for deliverance. Mm -hmm. And he would raise up another judge. That's right, that's right. Teach it. Tell that guy to have to know. So on and so on. So he went so on and so on through the judges. You see that yeah. he kept on delivering them. Yes, he, he has. Yes, he will. And he kept on being afflicted. So Yahweh afflicted them. And they, then they became humble. <laughs> that's right. They cried out to him. 
down. Yeah. It's humility, yeah. So, Yahweh will afflict you. Yes, you will. Right. Chapter 20 yes, and verse will. 5 says, And the men of Gibeah rose against me and beset the house round about upon me by night, mm -hmm. and thought to have slain me, mm -hmm. and my concubine have they forced that she is dead. They have forced his concubine and she is dead. They afflicted her. Uh huh. Mm -hmm. That's they right. The word forced, but oh, okay. to when I force you, I'm afflicted. That's you. right. Yeah. That's yeah. right. I'm not hard. Uh, well, then I also forcing I can force you into hum humility. Uh, right. 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 Right? But anyway, this is what this is the word, this is how it's rendered to us, so we uh -huh. have to go with it. We cannot just let it go, right? No. Nope. Yeah. Yeah. So they forced her. Mm -hmm. They and by forcing her they so much did she die. Right. Yeah. That's affliction. From yeah. Yeah. Okay. Alright, first shimmy uh First Shemiah 1332, uh, second Shemiah 13. But we'll see as we go. When I get there, that I know. Uh, First Samuel. You were standing in front of the sea in my right. First Samuel, second Samuel. Okay, I'll go with it. I know I messed up my right name. Second Samuel chapter 30, 13 and 32. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Praise the mighty God. Praise the mighty That's right. We all be in unity. We like minded. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. And it reads. And Yanadab, the son of Shimia. Dawi's brother answered and said, Let not my master suppose that they have slain all the young men and the king's sons. For Amnon only is dead. For by the appointment of Absalom, this have been determined from the day that he forced his sister to mark. Force. Force. Yeah. Force. Force. Okay. Okay. From the word Amnon. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. Come the word force. Mm -hmm. Force. Not just the two definitions that someone want to give you, like mm -hmm. humble mm -hmm. and lowly. Okay. Yeah. So therefore, sometimes it's good to go to yeah. word focus. Mm -hmm. Focus on the word. All right. Stay in that book and go to chapter 22 and verse 36. The word Anna. And this is rendering that it gives. This is the definition it gives in the book. 22 36 of the second Shemia. <coughs> and it says what? Thou hast also given me the shield of thy salvation. And thy gentleness have made me great. Yes, praise be the mighty God. Gentleness is the word from our now. Yeah, praise God. Yeah. Praise God. Don't get stuck on one meaning. This is it's word many. focus, people. This is word focus. I'm focused yeah. on the word, Hebrew word or not. Praise to the mighty God. The definition that it renders. Not just have most people do just give you one uh -huh. definition. Uh -huh. I can try to make Yahweh one dimension. Uh -huh. yes. okay. No, we cannot put Yahweh in the box. You cannot do that. Uh -huh. You're going to have to go deeper as one of yes. my teachers used to say. Yes, okay. you have to at times. You must go deep. Yeah. We need so the surface. The one we read last week, and I said we're going to get back to it in Psalm 35, okay. 13. What the psalmist says. Again, this is the word Anna, and this is the running from that word Anna. 35, 13. But, but as for me, when they were sick, my clothing was sackcloth. Yeah. Uh -huh. I humbled my soul with fasting. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. 
and my prayer returned into my own bosom. Faith, my own bosom. Yes, that's right. Yeah. He said, humble himself. So we're using this the word honor. So this time is using. Humble. That's but right. Did what? In order for us to fast, in order for us to do the will of Yahweh, we have to humble ourselves. Yes, we do. Praise our Yahweh. Yahweh. Yes, yes, we have to. In order for me to keep the pace that's coming up, I have to humble myself. That's it. And Teach be obedient it to the word of Yahweh. To if I humble myself, right. I'm going to be in my pride and I'm not uh -huh. going to do it. Right. So I'm going to be doing what everybody else is. Uh -huh. Teach it to like it is. Right. So they have I'm going to be going out. On young one looking for the sun to dance. <laughs> okay. Yeah. <laughs> or I'm gonna be buying a bunch of eggs and going hiding from my children to go right. over here. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> okay. But he said he humbled himself. Though we humbled himself. Yeah. Yeah. And fasted. Yeah. And then he humbled himself and fast what return. So humble is the way to get to y'all. Yes, it is. Praise God. That's right. We don't never humble ourselves. We will never get no. to do what Yahweh said. That is a direct line to get. Yahweh. So when you talk to people and tell them about keeping the Sabbath, they ain't not going. They don't want to humble themselves. Uh -uh. Right. Cause right. they're pride saying the first day of the week is the day we do uh -huh. But they ain't humble themselves to read Yahweh's word. If they humble themselves to read Yahweh's word, they uh -huh. find out. That's and right. That's, nice. that's right. You've been speaking. You find out. You've been getting fed lies. Praise God. Yeah. So he humbled himself. Yes, it's a must. With fasting. With it. Humble that's himself. Good. With fasting. Yeah, that's what when we I got. That's right. Myself, I humble myself to Yahweh. I put my hand, put myself in Yahweh's hand. Uh huh. And that's right. right. That's what we I say. We about to hide Yahweh. Me. If I can't believe He can stay right. in the food and water for. 24 hours, who met and all that they stuff. can do anything for me. That's, that's, that's right. That's you know, my time. But we see what Moshe went without food and water for yeah. 40, 40, 40 days, 40, 40, 40, 40 nights. Right. Yeah. Sure, in the flesh and blood body went 40 days and 40 nights. Without food and water. Donnie went. That's Psalm 105. Word. What definitely you use from the word Nah? Okay, so that was not Nah, huh? Okay. Yeah, that was not Nah, too. But well, it just used the word afflicted. What well, you said, it, okay. was used, it was used eight, 50 times out of 84 times. Okay. So, that's just one of them. But that's Psalms 105, verse 18. That's the word from Nah. Yeah. 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 Whose feet they hurt mm -hmm. with fetters. Yeah, that's the word. Yeah, that was right. Yeah. Hurt. Yeah. yeah. That's the word from Anah. Yeah. Hurt. Yeah. 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 Cause he the one told me how to look at the numbers. <laughs> Praise Yahweh. Praise Yahweh. The body Yah. So Yahweh. Uh, so I thought he was trying to get me off track, but yeah, yeah that was right. He ain't got no victory in here. Never, never. Y'all ain't get Henry. He can't stop it. So the word hurt. Yes, right. Comes hurt. From the word anah. Uh huh. All right. So there's all these definitions. Yep. And we want to eradicate them to one or two. That's right. Which is not correct. That's right. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Baba Yahweh. Praise Baba Yahweh. Read uh, 102, verse 102. 23. 102, 23. 102, 23 says, He weakened my strength in the way. He shortened my day. Weaken my strength. Yeah, that's, that's right. right. Weak, yeah. What? Weakness, weaken. 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 Yeah. Come from what? Oh, no. That's another definition. So it may only be used one time or maybe two times, but it's still in the definition. That's right. Praise God. That's right. That's it. Okay. So it's therefore, there. It has to have credence. Yes, it does. Yeah. So we have to use them. Uh huh. In the yeah. right place. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So they have to be used. So people have to know. In their right place. Yeah, there. Yeah. Mm -hmm. so we have to know. When we don't know, then we are in the bad shape. Uh huh. 
Maybe we'll use more than one candidate. 94 and 5, going 94 and 5. Yeah, that's the they break in pieces thy people, O Yahweh, and afflict thy heritage. They break in pieces what? Thy people. Thy people. Yeah. And they do what? Afflict their heritage. His heritage. Uh -huh. Not you and I. Yes, sir. That's right. Praise the mighty Yah. That's right. You're afflicted because you bleed the word of Yahweh. You're afflicted because you're different from the word of Yahweh. Oh, okay. Even for in the community, Hebrew community, you uh huh. Know. Yeah, there are, there are some. Yeah, that will be trying to burn you down or try to. Yeah. Cause another word to humiliate, try to humiliate. That's you. right. Yeah. Teach it, tell it like it is for the hams can know. Cause you won't uh, be subject to. Right, it. agree with them. Agree with them in the way that they're doing it. Uh huh. What, they, what we probably be doing, what? Agreeing to the way they do it. That does say Yahweh. That's the only way we rolling. That's it. You say they afflicted my heritage. Uh huh. You didn't say they humble. <laughs> right. But through the affliction, they may become humble. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, you can. You will. Yes, yeah, you can. The humble, they afflicted his people. They may be come humble. I can yep. afflict somebody until they become humble. Yes, you will. You give them that. That's right. That beat down. You will become humble. Ain't no, we ain't nobody forcing you. Yahweh did this a voluntary thing to yep. afflict yourself. Right. Right. It's a volunteer thing. That's right. Stay away from food and water. Uh-huh. It's a volu that's what he said. Flick your body, right? He said, yeah, you flick your body. You yeah. flick it, not me. Oh, that's right. He ain't going to be a That's right. Sahara. That's right. You. He said, flick you. Flick your own body. That's right. Uh-huh. Praise the mighty Yah. Be subject to me. Subject. Submit to me. And that's flick right. your body. That's right. That's Praise the mighty Yahweh. That's it. That's, that's it. right. Praise up to Yahweh and the uh -huh. body. That's right. Do so what it does says so Yahweh. Submit to what Yahweh said and do what he said. That's it. Right? Do. That's Praise the name of Yahweh. Praise God. Yahweh. All right. 107. And verse 17. 107 and verse 17. Fools. Because of their transgressions. And because of their iniquity are afflicted. Why are they afflicted? For their transgression, disobeying Yahweh. Why are they are not for their <laughs> transgression? Yeah. Right? Right. Are not in and disobedient iniquities. Fools. They are are not. Yes we are. Yes so, we will be. Remember when you are not when you're not doing what Yahweh says, you're gonna be a not. <laughs> yeah you will. Yes you have. yes you will. Mm -hmm. Oh that's a good one. I think people think they're going to get away with it. You're not getting get away. away. You, you're just not yeah. used to it. You think it's just by chance. No, you're being afflicted. Why are you in this guy? Right, 116 and verse 10. 116 and verse 10. So when you read all, when you get all these and put them all together, you're going to have a, a map to know what you always talking Yeah, yeah, that's what he wants. Praise it to mighty God. 116 and verse 10 says, I believe, therefore have I spoken. I was great. Uh huh. Afflicted. That's right. That's I was right. Greatly afflicted. So that's you right. What y'all always say. Uh huh. Spoken, that's right. Did what? Greatly afflicted. They just say we will try, but they get no win. Yeah. They ain't got you no win. Already lose. You already win. That's right. We on the winning side always. All the time. All the always. Time. We I never lose. Yeah. Next verse yeah. says. I said in my haste, all men are liars. Huh. You said in my haste, all <laughs> men are liars. So you can jump to that conclusion <laughs> without having the word of Yahweh <laughs> in your mind, right? Mm -hmm. You can jump to that conclusion. That, so when you look around, you see a bunch of people that are supposed to be reveling in Yahweh, and then they lie, and then you jump to the conclusion that all men are yeah, lying. Yeah, yeah, you said, teach it, tell like it. All women are lying. Yeah, yeah, like yeah, some people got that thought. Teach it, tell like it is. Just so like they say, when people trying to get you, well, everybody doing it, uh, they lying. Uh, that's right, that's right. That's right. And you have to know that they lying, because <laughs> oh, you know you ain't doing that's it. That's right, so praise the mighty God. That's right, that's all right. That's right. That's right. Everybody is doing it. Yeah. So they say. I mean, yeah. it included you, uh -huh. and you're not doing it. Uh -huh. You know that they lie. Uh-huh. Praise Abba Yahweh. Praise Abba Yahweh. 
Okay. Psalm 119 and verse 67. So Allah has a broad meaning. Yes, it does. Broad, yes, it wide does. definition. Uh-huh. Very wide definition. Yes, it does. Mm -hmm. 119 and verse 67 says, Before I was afflicted, uh -huh. I went astray. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Wow. But now have I kept thy word. Praise the mighty Yah. Praise the Lord. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. That's, that's before I was Yeah. 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 So if you went astray, then you were afflicted and you yeah. came back. Uh -huh. right. Substand what we said in the in, Ju in Judges where these yes, people God. went out and Yahweh had to afflict them to bring them back. Uh-huh. Yeah. The wise people when they afflicted they come back. <laughs> you come back to your sin and they get stay out there and right here, yeah, yeah. afflicted. Right? Mm -hmm. But the wise people that hear Yahweh's word, when they be afflicted, they don't think it's just something that's happening. Uh, nope, nope. They realize they're gonna realize, hey, this is something I'm doing this for. Uh huh. That cause that. Yeah. And they gonna cry out to Yahweh. Yes, that's Yahweh it. Yahweh will deliver this. Yes, he will. From, right? Yes, he will. Praise God, Yahweh. Yahweh. And the next verse says, "Good, thou art told, and do as told. Mm -hmm. Teach me. Yeah, teach me, Yahweh. You are told, and you yeah. are told. Right. And the man saying." Teach me those things. How many people out there want to be taught y'all? Uh 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 uh. Not many. Not many. Not many. They want to be taught the senses the way that they want to be taught. Right. right. Not the way that Yahweh wants to be taught. Not the way it does say Yahweh say do so it. They want me to tell them smooth things. Tell uh -huh. them oh, this stuff is no good no more. This right. Stuff. Right. Right. So I say right. Yeah. You know? So you want to <coughs> school thing, take away the Holy One from, from, the, from our presence. Huh. We don't want to hear that. I know, right? That's, That's true. Paraphrasing That's what he said. Right. right. Yeah. Straight yeah. fool. It you know. say somebody uh -huh. else is worse uh -huh. than right. Y'all yeah, call them fools, so, so can we. Pray to my Yah. Verse 71 of this book says, It's good. Yeah. It is told for me that I have been afflicted, mm -hmm. that I might learn thy statutes. Yeah. That's yeah, good. it is. That's the right mind. This yeah. is really good. Yeah. Oh. That's the right mind. Yeah. That's good. Better that I'm like, what? Learn thy statue. Yeah. That's how you get it. Not right. told for me to be humble that I might love you. Uh -huh. No. Mm -hmm. I was afflicted. Then yeah. I learned you. Yeah, yeah. We never got humble. I humble realized yeah. what was right. happening. And then I became humble. Yeah, and yeah. That was yeah. your word. But I'm right. saying, mm -hmm. we was what? Humble. Humble, humble, not yeah. humble here for me that I have been a victim. It was good for, good good for you. Some ouches so on when we say it's good for us. Uh -huh. Yes, it is. It is. That's right. Yes. That's it's good right. when we afflict yes, yes, it is. Afflicted right. by Yahweh, yeah. That's right. That I might learn how stats. Yeah, yeah. praise yeah. to my Yah. Yeah. Hallelujah. They don't want to learn this statue without being afflicted. <laughs> so you know they don't want to get afflicted to learn them, right? Praise God. Praise God. I want to skip down to verse 75. And read. Yeah, verse 75. I know, Yahweh, that thy judgments are right, and that thou in faithfulness has afflicted me. Huh. In faithfulness, he afflicted me. Yeah, in the in faithfulness, he afflicted yeah. me. Okay. Me not. Oh. So if Yahweh don't just do it up to be doing no, it, no, 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 no. for your good. Yes, but yeah. Yeah. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Yeah. And in his faithfulness, he afflicted us. Mm -hmm. by, so he's showing his mercy. So he's afflicting yeah. us and giving us the opportunity yeah. to, to resolve what's yeah. going on and change our hearts. I see a half. I see then a half. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. All right, verse 107 of the same book. Praise the mighty Yah. Mm -hmm. For he is told to Israel. All the time. All the time, no matter what. It reads, I am afflicted very much. Quicken me, O Yahweh, according unto thy word. So, mm -hmm. he afflicted very much. So, I'm afflicted now. I'm asking you to help me, right? Yes. 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 Quicken me. Help Quicken me. Stand. Make me right. alive again. Right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. Praise Yahweh, Yahweh. So, afflict mean afflict, humble mean humble. What verse was that? 107. 119 and verse 107. Oh, uh, 
All right, in Psalm 132 and verse 1, it says, Yahweh, remember Dawid and all his afflictions. Remember Dawid and all his afflictions, not in all his humbleness, right? In his affliction. In his affliction. Yeah. So, we want to remember Yahweh in his affliction. Our way in his affliction, oh, he was. Yeah. All right, let's look at uh, uh, let's look at Isaiah, Yeshayah, chapter 53. 53. Praise oh, no. the mighty no, no, no. 53. Three and four says, Surely he hath borne our griefs yeah. and carried our sorrows. Yes, he had. Yet we did esteem him stricken, smitten of Elohim, and afflicted. Praise mighty Yah, Yah, you are the Lamb. Praise the Lord. Do you call it? Do you call what they did to him humble him? Huh? No. Or afflicted him? Afflicted. He was afflicted. Yeah. yeah. And then verse 5 says, But he was wounded for our transgressions. Yeah. He was bruised for our iniquities. Yeah. The chastisement of our peace was upon him. Uh -huh. And with his stripes, we are healed. Praise the mighty Yahweh. We are. Oh. Praise the Lord for the Lamb. Praise Yahweh for the Lamb. Yeah, you a, are. This one where I think we read last week. This is the, this word, uh, where I'm at One time. Mm -hmm. so the rest of the word is bruised. So if you've been bruised, if I've been bruised, you were bruised for my iniquity. So in other words, you were afflicted for my iniquity. You were whipped for my iniquity. Mm -hmm. Everything yes. you want to put there, everything that said he was afflicted for our iniquity. Mm -hmm. Why do you think they would be iniquity? Oh, okay. Not for his iniquity, right? Right, uh, right. So all these things happened to him that's supposed to happen to us. Okay? Yes. So therefore, we have to, uh, you know, render ourselves to that. So that smitten and bruised pretty much is the same thing. Okay. So we have to, you know, humble ourselves to understand this mm -hmm. and submit ourselves to the Dabba of Yahweh and believe that the Dabba of Yahweh is true, right? That's right. We believe. We he believe in the Dabba of Yahweh. He was afflicted. Yet he opened not his mouth. He was brought as a lamb to the slaughter. That's 53 7, all right? <laughs> and as a sheep before the shearer is dumb, so he opened not his mouth. Well, he was acting like a sheep. Uh huh. Yeah. Uh huh. For our sake. So maybe it's about our sake. Well, he had the power to stop that. Yes, he did. Said, right? But 58 and 3 says, Isaiah 58 and 3 says, He was taken from prison and from judgment. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. And who shall declare his generation? For he was cut off out of the land of the living. For the transgression of my people, he was stricken. Mm -hmm. He was stricken, right? Mm -hmm. We're at, we're at 53 and, 58 and 3, 58 3. And 3 I'm sorry. Yes. We're at 58 and 3. On 58 and 3. That's okay. That's good too. Would you read? That's right. All y'all ways to bother with what told. we're talking about. Yeah. What happened to him right. wasn't comforted. It wasn't some comfort. That's right. He was afflicted. It wasn't, wasn't something humbling. No, it wasn't. 
With some pain when he, toward he humbled himself and being obedient to right. death, he humbled, he humbled himself. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Right. And he, he humbled himself and took the affliction. Yes, he right. did. Pray with the mighty eye. Yeah, he did. Yeah, yeah. 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 In those cases, they're both uh, sort of different from... Right. You can't put... Humble. It's straight one for the other one. Right. That's right. Okay. So... Uh, where I say go? It's eight and three. And it read, Wherefore have we fasted? Say they, and thou seest not. Wherefore have we afflicted our soul? And thou takest no knowledge. Behold, in the day of your fast ye you find pleasure. Yeah. And exact all your labor. Yes, praise Abba Yahweh. So well, some, some people should see what well, in the day of your faith, in the Down. day of your faith, in the day of your faith. So, not in the day of his faith, but in the day of your faith. That the devil between yours and mine, right? right. So, is that the day of faith that he called? <coughs> no. Mm -hmm. But in your day, in your faith, you find pleasure. Mm -hmm. In other words, you find. You're not humbling yourself like you're supposed to if you can find pleasure in it, right? <laughs> but it is pleasure. Yes, it is. God, the way he's saying it, if they're doing it for the opposite of what uh, so you okay. find pleasure uh -huh. in doing what y'all always said, yes, but they're finding pleasure in what they're doing, uh -huh. not because uh, of what they're doing. Uh -huh. They're finding pleasure in whatever they're doing, not, not in the fast, but they probably exactly. find some else to do, some recreation or whatever. Right, right. And they, okay? and but he said, my fans, you my you, you you find happiness in or find pleasure uh -huh. in because it is a pleasurable thing to serve Yahweh. Yes, it is. It is. To know Yahweh's word Absolutely. and to do Yahweh's word and act on Yahweh's yeah. word and stand on Yahweh's word is supposed to be a pleasure. Yeah. Uh -huh. yeah. Even though people are trying to discourage you, it's still uh -huh. it is. It's an you know, honor. About the what was the testimony? He said, "Your testimony have I inherited." Yes. I inherited the testimony of Yahweh. Yes. It's in me. Yes. yes. The testimony that Yahweh said, "I inherited." Yes, we have, and it's so all true. Therefore. I practice it doing Yeah, them. that's right. We love it. If you inherit them, you would practice it doing yep. them, right? Yep. We right. practice. So we need to practice doing what we have inherited. When you inherit the love of Yahweh, or when you inherit the truth of Yahweh, you do it. Yep. You teach it. You speak it. You tell other people about the truth. Because what? You got to love of the truth. That's Amen. right. That's right. And you should know the truth. It will do what? Set make you free. free. That and make you free. It will so set you in and make you free. As this guy said, the more, the more truth you know, the more free you are. Yeah. Amen. Okay? Know it. Yeah. I'm not saying to know the truth will make you free, but how much truth do you know? Huh? So everybody knows some truth. Uh huh. Right. But the more truth you know, the more That's free right. you are. That's right. Praise the mighty God. That's right. The more you know about Yahweh's word, <laughs> yeah, and the more you do Yahweh, the more you are. Yeah, Yahweh. Praise up. So Yahweh is good to us all, all right. the time, no matter what. So, y'all remind me if I, I'm not, I'm not going to be. Y'all always not going to let me forget. So I'm going to look at that word that we didn't get that I went to E or one song that didn't give me the definition that I, I saw. So I gotta go back and get That's it. That's right. He said you seek, you shall find. And I can pick it up next week and do it. And yeah. I'll find it and we're gonna see what feast that Yahweh established. The fast that he called. Okay? Okay. And then the one that he called, we still gonna have pleasure. Yeah. What he said. It's an honor. It's an honor. It's an honor. It's an honor. Doing what Yahweh it's called of Yahweh. And since my time is running out, I have oh, plenty in me. Talking to you. Yes, yeah, praise. Sense. Likewise, my Until heart. We meet again.
一下。<音>